All right, guys. So this video, I'm going to show you how to wire transfer on the Bank of America app, guys. So first things first, guys, you want to actually log in to the Bank of America mobile app, right? Enter your user ID and password to log in. If not, you can just sign up, right? You can sign up, okay? So option for next step, guys, after you have logged in, what you want to do is you want to click down here, pay and transfer. This is what you want to click on. And then you're going to see more options that pop up. Okay. And this menu, what you want to click on is wire. You want to select here, wire. Click on wire. Okay. Then if you have actually both uh, banking and investing accounts, you want to select the account you want to send the wire from. So this is the banking account. Just click on this. And so you can send money from your Bank of America, you know, wire from here. So then once you click on which account you want to wire from, it just tap on start wire. So you do, you, this will initiate your wire transfer. And you may decide to, before doing that, you know, you can check the exchange rates before you start. Okay. Now, what you want to do, guys, once you have clicked on start a wire, okay. Now, if you're sending money to a recipient for the first time, you will need to add their account as a new recipient, right? If you ever, if you, have, if you are sending to an existing recipient, just select your, your recipient from one of these. If not, just tap on add new recipient. Just click here, right? And then, guys, you want to select the appropriate country where your recipient's bank account is located and just tap on next. For example, if it is Mexico, just tap on Mexico, right? Okay, and then you may, basically, the required information may differ by country or bank, but for now, we'll choose a Mexico, right? And now here, they're going to ask you what currency you want to send. You can either send a Mexican pesos. There's no fees involved. Uh, if you want to send a euros or US dollars, it, it tells you the fees. But guys, it is very transparent. It tells you the fees, right? And then you just click on next, basically, guys. And you want to select the recipient's account type, whether it's a personal account or business account. And whose account is it? Is it your own account or someone else's account? If someone else's account, choose that option and then just click next. And then, guys, here, now we want to add the recipient's information. You want to put the correct first name. Great last name. If it's a little nickname, you can put that. The country, the recipient address is important. The address should match the city, your postal code, fill all the required information and just click on next. And then you want to add their banking information, right? So you want to add their SWIFT or BIC code and then their actual account number. It is usually a 16 digit account number. And then just click on next, guys. And then they're going to ask you to, you know, verify the, basically the app will verify the bank's routing information. And once that is done, you just tap on next. You can confirm again for the last time, all the details you have entered are correct. And then just scroll down, review everything, then just tap on add, okay? And then they're gonna give you this reminder for a scam reminder, right? Just tap on okay. You can, you should always read this warning messages actually, but you should tap okay usually. But if you want, you can read it just to be safe, but usually you should just tap on OK. And now that you have already added your international recipient, uh, just tap the choose account to select the account which you want to transfer money to. So first, basically, we're adding the recipient and then we're going to choose the recipient we've added. So we chose this one, Robin Lopez, to send to Mexico from, and then you choose the account you want to send from, and then OK. So we're going to choose my checking account right here. Click on Next. And then enter the amount. Okay, click on enter the amount and just enter the amount. Let's say you want to send $2,000. It is going to show you how many Mexican pesos they receive, what the transfer fees is, what the exchange rates are, and then just tap on next app to get reviewed everything. And then, guys, if you are prompted, and it depends on the country you're sending to, but then you can choose on, you can tap on choose purpose and indicate the purpose for your wire. Okay, you can select from different ones here. There's a whole drop down menu. You can choose others and write your own. Oh, there's family support, trade related, there's many different options. You can just click next after choosing the one that applies to you. And then guys, there might be optional instructions that you can add for the recipient's bank. If not, just tap on next guys. And if you, ha if you haven't already, you might actually be required to enroll in the secure transfer to send your wire. So all you need to do is add your mobile US mobile number and tap on next, okay? So if you basically, if you're spending money exceeding a certain amount, they will ask you to do this, right? So after you're done, guys, you will receive a text message with an authorization code to complete the enrollment. Just enter your code and then add your 
ATM or debit card details and click on add number to complete the enrollment guys. Now then you're going to receive a confirmation that your mobile number is actually enrolled. Just tap on continue and you can proceed with your international wire transfer. Okay. Make sure guys, before you send something, just review everything, make sure everything is correct. Okay. Confirm with the details and then click on this. I authorize this payment and I've read all the terms and conditions and just click on next guys. Okay. Just do that. Click on send and boom guys, you will see a receipt to show that the transfer has been completed you can click on share to save it okay you can shave this and then guys just click on done and you will receive a confirmation message and usually the funds will be credited to the recipient within one to two business days guys it's literally that easy and simple guys so if the video helps guys make sure you hit that like button comment down below